Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we are going to paint this infantry support platform for Star Wars Legion. So as we go, as usual, we're going to start off with a dry brush of medium sea gray. This is to get the ship the gray, the white tone that we want. Not glued onto the base either so it's just kind of sitting on it so that I can get around it easier so that I could prime it so let's just the bottom doesn't matter that much because you're not going to be able to see it This is gonna be this my this is like my first big model that I'm painting with this new camera setup too, so it'll be interesting to see how much we fight to keep it in frame. So that's going to be good enough for the the bottom for now. Let's get Let's get our pilots really good cuz they need to be They go all the way around this thing. Try not to break it either while we're doing this. This is a little gigantic. Again, remember the struggle of always having to be like, should we build it in subsections or not? Definitely maybe, probably maybe leave it in subsections. Like the people. Let's get more. On this area in here. And we're just dry brushing. It's just try to preserve some of the black on like the guns and stuff so
Alright, so there is our gray brush. gray off the brush here keeping it dry still and then we'll go on to the white I'm gonna get as much of this gray off as we can because we don't want to turn the white gray matte white color and then let's get let's start with our troopers here just to make sure they get the color they need to be painted correctly We can go to the rest. Keep our light dry brush going. And we go heavy on our white on purpose because we white is the main color here. gives it a nice weathered white look by doing it this way versus just priming it white and then going over it later guns here, the front of the piece, make sure we get the sides there. <clears throat> cool, and we can just do like a quick kind of dirty white dry brush off the bottom because it is not seen. You don't have to go too hard here. We just kind of want to get the areas that overlap and you might be able to see in the front. <clears throat> okay, 
so that's our base coat. <clears throat> I just wanted to grab the box so I can look at the how it's painted a little bit better. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go and start getting little details here with our gore grunter fur. So that's going to be for the troopers because they are like Kashyyyk troopers. We have to, we don't have to, we're going to paint them like that. So they are brown under, they have a brown undersuit. So get our gorgon to fur and then start kind of picking out those areas to get the undersuit other gloves okay other gloves are black you just have to keep looking back at my reference because it is kind of, it's different than other clone troopers. Oop. We'll get here, we'll get the pants. Get those little pants there with the brown. I think we're going to probably paint these guys first. Just get them done so that we can move on to the rest of the ship and just get that done. the black contrast paint which is black templar and that goes on their gloves like there's a lot of little armor bits on it so it's kind of like oh, it's kind of like here and here and like the tip here so we're just kind of finding those areas. At the same time, we're painting the controls black. It's hand painted. Just want to keep checking our other one and to make sure that we're keeping them pretty similar here. So something like that. Sorry if this thing's getting out of frame. Like I said, this thing is really big, so I could move the camera back. Um, Let's maybe do that in a second. Stand by. It's okay that we're spilling over because how we handle the base of the uniform is going to cover most of that. So we'll be okay. Just want to get broad strokes to give the impression that it is correct. Uh. 
Okay. So now we can take some leather brown and we're going to start painting like camouflage patterns on the helmets and the armor. And it's just little squiggly lines and doodads. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be on there. So just get in there with some paint colors. Get in our browns. See, like what I was telling you, like we can cover up the mistakes with it. I'm gonna do one guy at a time here, just pick out little spots here and there, make it kind of random. get some uniform green. Hold on, this is a little floppy here. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Get uniform green. And then we're going to do the same thing. But we're doing it like kind of, we want it like next to these that are already on there. Can be bigger, can be smaller. Like I said, it just has to be on there. Just rotating it on the base here. It's getting Colors on there. And then also, we'll pick this up. We're going to have to get the visors too, because the visors are green on these guys. So just kind of pick it up here and get our visors okay now now we go to the wash for them which is a green and a brown wash so we'll start with the brown wash first, and that is Agrax Earthshade. This one. And that's gonna tone them down to a more earthy tone. This one, and that's what we're looking for. This brush is like rock hard. Um, that's what we're looking for on these guys, is for them to be earth toned because they're in the jungle and you can be really heavy with this because you want that color to go on there and you want it to go in all the nooks and crannies on like the white parts here same thing for the boots Get it on there. 
these guys all nice and muddy. Just make sure that we're getting all the spots. Don't want any of that like harsh white showing up. So it's like you have to get on these arms because the arms are where it's going to be hiding. And that is our Kashyyyk Troopers right there. I, was, I did say we were going to do like a green wash, but I think this wash kind of did it for us, did what we wanted. So we don't have to overdo it with the washes here. You can if you want to, of course. There's no hard and fast rules telling you what you have to do here. But that's how I'm gonna do it. And then we got just like little details now. Like that was like the big part of this model. You don't have to go too crazy because, I mean, it's just, it's basically just white. Like looking at, here I'll get the box art in here. If you kind of, I'll try to get the box art in here. But you can see it's kind of just a big blob. So um, we'll fix it. We'll do what we can, of course, to make it clean and better. But, so let's put this back on the stable base right here. Okay. So now let's go in with the black contrast paint now and start picking out stuff to clean this guy up. So first of all, I'm gonna get the, the fan here. Just the fan, not the cone or anything, just try our best there sorry if I keep hitting this phone it's gonna be it's a little wobbly there okay that's good and then we're gonna get these screens that are in here and like these little panels Same thing for this panel right here, this panel right here. We get the barrels of these guns to make sure that they're black still. I mean, that's the good thing about like how we kind of dry brush everything. It's not very destructive. It's more uh, open for us. Make this black just to add more variations of color to this instead of just having it be white because it is kind of boring that's why I mean like honestly I don't really like I hate the look of this thing this model is ugly but it fills a role that I need in my army so that's why I'm using it but as soon as a different a better alternative comes out you better believe that's what I'm switching to yeah, and we'll get these little rails here. Get those all nice and coated. Same thing here, just get that coated. And then these little back pieces here. Get those. And we gotta flip it to get the bottom of it. So let me just, and like I said earlier, like we're kind of, we're just ignoring the bottom of this model because it is on this big base. You will never see it. Now for like the straps of the 
seat belt. I think we're gonna go skeleton horde. It's just like a tan color. Hopefully it's not too close to like their what we've got their skin in their armor set to. So let's just get those seat belts coated here. Even in a galaxy far, far away, you still need a seatbelt. We can go in there and hit that stuff that is missed too, like that. Okay. Yeah. Drop my brush. Stand by. Ugh. Cool, and now we're gonna get some like some blues and some we're gonna get Prussian blue and some red and just paint the like the screens and some greens probably like this the Escorpina green just to give some screen detail here. So like that and we'll get this vermilion, dark vermilion. Okay, and then we'll just get our brush here. Do some rotations. So for the screens, we're probably just gonna paint that one blue, probably that one. And we're gonna do the same to this side. So blue, blue. And then we can go to green. Yeah, we'll get like the little radar thingies as well as this bottom screen here. And then all the buttons will make red. Just kind of put some red in there, some red in there. There, so those are kind of how our consoles look. And then also, here there's some buttons here. So let's just put a little blue on that button, a little blue on that button. And then a little Green on that button, a little green on that button. And what happened here? I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go to probably like a a gray, eh, no, we'll just be fine right now. All right, so we're gonna go to our Blood Angels Red now for like the red, like kind of markings on the ship. So let's kind of take this here and we're gonna get all of this line here. A lot of the Republic vehicles have like red markings on them. So this is kind of how we're going to accomplish it. We're just going to go all the way down to like that. Same thing on this side. We want to follow this line here for the initial to get that. And then we Go in like that to get our red stripe there. And then this whole middle piece here will also be red. Okay. 
Just trying to stay in the lines here as best we can. Avoiding some of the detail. Okay, we're getting to there. Then the inside of here will be painted red. Excuse me. Oop. We'll have to clean up some of that. Have to try to anyway. Might be pretty difficult. guys here then I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's a little bland still so we're just gonna fill in this little area here with the red as well. Okay. Now let's get to metallics here. Actually, here, let's see if we can clean up this little red on the side here with some white we spilled over. I'm just, no, oh, that's a lot. Can we kind of like, thin it out a bit by, painting over it like that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, and now let's get some gunmetal for these little exhaust bits on the back. And we'll try to dry brush it on. The dry brush is a little wet right now though, so let's kind of make sure we get it as dry as we can there. And just kind of go over that. Get that covered there. You can also do a little kind of dip into there. Add a little bit of like scratches to the front here, like. Kind of like it's been crashing in this stuff. Just give it some like little scratches. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a pretty simple vehicle. Um, I hope you like it. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, considering how it, how it looks anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And then we'll catch you guys on the next one.